Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of February 15th to the 21st, 2021. And um, I do want to take this moment to remind you to like this video, leave me a comment, and do subscribe to this lovely channel if you haven't already. And don't forget that little notification bell when you do so. I'm already picking up on a bit of your anxiety, my friend. Um, but when meditating on your energy overall, overall for the week, the message that came through was going for it anyways. Going for it anyways. And um, the song that Spirit chose for you for the week to speak upon uh, your week as I cleanse the energy. Thank you for your patience. The song was, ooh, such a good one, Shine by Laura Isabor. I haven't heard the song in so long. And when looking at the lyrics, I was like, absolutely beautiful. Love it. Um, but the line, the long one, or the two lines that stood out. Wake up one morning, you realize your life is one big compromise. Stuck in the job you swore was was only temporary. And then the second line was, you ask yourself, there's got to be something else, something more. Well let, well, let the sun shine on your face and don't let your life go to waste. Wow. A lot of you are working a job that is not where you plan to be in the future. It's not where you saw yourself or a situation in general. It just feels like spirit saying, or you're just simply realizing this week. It's like a wake up call. I need to live my life the way I, way I desire to, the way it's meant to, not the way I saw it as a temporary kind of situation. Wow. Let's begin by pulling a message or two from the Starseed Oracle deck, our lovely Capricorns. Thank you, spirit. I just feel like it's a hefty week for the earth signs. We got two. Okay, fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. Wow, who was it? You might want to check out the Sagittarius reading. There's a feeling in that reading that things were always so extreme on, you know, the positive or the negative. But um, Spirit's reminding you that this week, you need to fall back into the process and to how things are meant to unravel not stressing over every little detail, my friend. Because I mean, I don't pick up on someone's or a sign's anxiety before I even, you know, start the intro if it's not a very hefty part of the week. It feels like the extremes of life also do at times give you this sense of anxiousness. But then we have lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. Whatever it is you're going for this week, you're being reminded you've been preparing for this for lifetimes. You know, we forget that we have our past lives where we've, it was almost a preparation or um, you get the point, you know, to this lifetime. But keep in mind that this is what you were meant to go for. It's meant for you. Whatever this opportunity is for you this week, it's like you were perfectly aligned with it at this time. It wasn't meant to happen you know, earlier, you know, in the past or wasn't meant to happen later, it's meant to happen now, however that pertains to you. Let's continue by pulling seven tarot cards, one for each day of the upcoming week. For Capricorn, thank you, Spirit. There's way too many. For our lovely Capricorns, thank you, Spirit. Feeling a bit stuck, are we? I mean, it makes sense talking about, you know, working a job that was only meant to be temporary or that you're just not passionate about. Keep them coming. Wow. Good energy so far. Okay. What else do we have for our lovely caps? And we're going to pull the last three right from the top of the deck. I mean... It just feels like you are stepping into your power, my friend. Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, putting an end or allowing for things to fall to the wayside that are no longer working for you. A wake-up call, remember? Okay, so we're starting off the week with the Wheel, or the Wheel of Fortune. My friend, the week starts off on Monday with you being reminded that the Wheel is, is turning for you, that things are starting to get into motion where if it felt stuck before, stagnant, no longer the case. 
it's like it is starting to move. Things are starting to work out for you. You're going to get a reminder on Monday that your luck's changing for the better. And it's side by side with this fall into my arms card. Let this reminder of the wheel churning, let this reminder that things are starting to fall into place, that your luck is changing, get you, getting you back, allow it to get you back to surrendering or starting to, to fall back into um, spirit's plan for you, your destined path. It's a week where you're being rerouted to that path, okay? Because remember, a lot of what you've been doing recently has not been fulfilling, has not been um, the way you should be living your life, right? Nine of Cups, move right along. And so you make your way to Tuesday and you're jumping for joy, Capricorn. You're feeling amazing. I see you on Tuesday jumping out of bed because of what takes place on Monday. And they're saying that's just a taste of what's to come. Do you realize that? By the end of this week, I think you will. They're saying that that last cup will be filled. You are destined to succeed as long as you don't allow for certain situations to become um, too permanent or you don't allow for yourself to stay stuck in something that's no longer fitting for you, where you potentially outgrew that situation or you just have evolved well past it. And it's just saying I just did that when the imagery is the hands up in the air. All right, then we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse for Wednesday. Wednesday rolls around, my friend, and there's a highlight on you not getting enough recognition, appreciation in your job or from people in your life for what you've been through, for what you've done. It's like they look at you in the wrong light, it feels. You feel very misunderstood, don't you, Capricorn? They're saying that when you are rerouted to this new opportunity, when you put yourself in a situation that's more aligned with you or uh, better suited for you moving forward at this point, you will be so shocked as to how quickly this is, you know, moved into the upright position. People starting to notice you, recognize you for the skill set you have, for how much you have to offer, whatever situation that may be for you. Good for you, Capricorn. Four of Pentacles. There's a feeling that you're holding on to things a little bit too tightly, trying to, there's a need for control here. For some of you, I feel like it's a habit you picked up from a family member or someone else. But let's see, Four of Pentacles, what is this all about to clarify for Thursday? Wow. Boom. My friend, to clarify the Four of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Wands, the Sun card, the chariot and the seven of wands they're saying that you are being granted given this fresh start that you desire that is meant for you at this time it's like spirit is in universe is waving their magic wand being like your wish is granted you want to be happy you want to feel fulfilled you want this completion of things that aren't working for you anymore boom there you go so utilize that energy that sun kind of feeling that power within you to go after what you deserve all right, whatever this opportunity is for you, go after it. It's around this point in the week um, that you will receive this offer, this opportunity. I feel like it's a new job, a new side project, side hustle, something that people would maybe advise you to not go for because it's maybe a bit risky or not um, a typical like nine to five job. But putting aside what other people think or even what society thinks is normal or respectable, Allowing yourself to go for it anyways, my friend. Allow for yourself to go for what you deserve, your dreams. And it's going to feel like people are coming at you with their opinions, with how they think you should proceed or not proceed. And it's like, you need to do what you can to quiet those voices. Set up some boundaries. I mean, at times it can feel like this is how your mind is. You know, putting aside other people, your own thoughts are coming at you like, should I do this? Oh my God, no. Um, you need to relax. All right, and remember to not have, you don't need this full control over how things are meant to unravel. Trusting that things are meant to, I mean, think back to the reminder you got in the, being, the, beginning, the beginning of the week, excuse me. I'm seeing it like this where you're almost looking away from it like, I just I need this control over my future. And they're saying, no, you don't, relax. You got your guides, you got the universe. 
um, working things out in the background. So just keep moving forward with an optimistic, less controlling, more of a, a going with the flow way of being and viewing things. Interesting. And so you're obviously being told to just go for whatever this is for you, this opportunity. And we have the King of Wands to move right along. And so you're left on Friday feeling like a leader, my friend, feeling in your power, feeling stronger than ever. They're saying there's more of this to come. You know, the more you're in this, it's a direct result of this change of luck, okay? This wheel spinning, but they're also saying it happens in reverse as well, where um, the more you get in this mindset of being a leader, accepting who you're meant to be in this lifetime, um, not settling for things that are just subpar or not meant for you, just kind of blah at this point, that don't fulfill you, you're going to keep that wheel spinning that spirit has um, gently started moving for you at the beginning of this week. Um, so it just reiterates the power of your mindset, the power of your um, view on your situation, keeping that luck happening, keeping that wheel spinning, keeping things in motion. And um, it's side by side with this Lost Lands card and they're saying, you've done this before. You're meant to do this, my friend. This is why you were put on this earth to lead other people, to help other people, to make an impact. I and mean, think about what you've been doing right now. It helps other people, I feel like, to a certain extent, but it's not what you're meant to do. There's more. You need to understand that. Empress, or the Empress. It's the second major arcana, big life transformation and change. So the weekend starts on Saturday and it feels like you're giving birth to a whole new life for yourself, however that pertains to you. I mean, for it might just feel like other areas of your life aren't transforming as much just yet, but your career situation definitely is. Being like with the Nine of Cups, they're saying the more you allow yourself to give birth to these new things, these new situations, this new job, um, being one with certain opportunities and going after them and not allowing, once again, other people and situations to stall you or to second guess whether it's right for you. You're going to feel more like the Nine of Cups. You're going to feel more like you're jumping for joy. You know, the, the situation that you're being rerouted to, to go for, to take advantage of at this time is to leave you feeling more fulfilled, more content, to jump out of bed every morning, to want to go to that job or to work on that project. Do you get what I'm saying? Spirit has seen you too many days after days after days wake up and go to a job or do something that doesn't fulfill you anymore. And they want to put an end to that as it may be a very loud environment. As you can hear that in the background. And we're finishing off with the Hierophant card. I'm so sorry if that gets annoying. So you finish off the week feeling good, feeling content about how things are meant to unravel. There's a very um, spiritual vibe coming from this for some of you, connected to the universe. Um, it also feels like you're sort of just blossoming at this point, just starting to, because you're starting to go after what you deserve, what you're meant to achieve in this lifetime. But they're saying when you feel this good, don't get too distracted because you have a lot to achieve. And they're saying that when you follow this path that you're being rerouted to, this destined um, way, this is once again going to turn upright. You're going to have nothing but um, appreciation recognition for all that you are. How good is that going to feel? Let's finish off this beautiful reading by pulling a message or two from the Find Your Happy deck. For our lovely Capricorns, thank you, Spirit. I want, you guys, I want you guys, excuse me, to listen to that song Shine by Laura Isabor. I think you'll absolutely love it. It's so positive. Okay. I learned the way on the way. Remind yourself to, that you're going to figure it out as you go. When you start this new opportunity, when you tackle something fresh, you don't have to have it all figured out. That's half the fun of it, you know? Figuring it out as you go. Remind yourself that you are a quick learner too. And then we have, I am gentle with myself in transitions. Don't be so hard on yourself, my friend. Oh, and we're not ending with this, but my anxiety isn't based on reality. That you need to remind yourself of this week when you're feeling a bit anxious about moving into something fresh and new. But once again, as you transition, my friend, on an inner level and you know, as your life transitions uh, before your very eyes, uh, be gentle with yourself. Don't be so hard on you, all right? 
So at the end of the day, Capricorn, I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you have the most amazing week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.